Hey there, this is Kamal, and in this video, we're gonna see how to host a website on Heroku for free. So, let's get this started. Alright, so first things first, what is Heroku? Heroku is a platform as a service which offers you cloud based services. It's like a place where you can deploy your code or your website, and that will be live in a few seconds. So the main key difference between Heroku and other cloud-based platforms like AWS and Azure is the fact that Heroku mainly focuses on user interactivity. So Heroku doesn't, you know, support all the languages which are available to create websites, but it does most of the popular languages. So Heroku is mainly used by small scale to medium scale companies, whereas AWS and Azure is used by medium scale to large scale companies, which require a lot of computational power. One of the key differences that you have to note is that you can deploy websites on Heroku in just a matter of seconds, whereas when it comes to AWS and other cloud platforms, you have to do a bit of tinkering first, that like you have to set up the servers and all the packages that you want to use. And once that is done, then you can use the server and deploy your website. So you need a bit of technical knowledge on all of those things if you want to deploy your websites in AWS and all of that. But when it comes to Heroku, it's pretty easy, so it's user friendly and it's preferred mostly by beginners or people who don't have that much technical knowledge. Alright, so now let's see how to do this. Open your favorite browser and type in heroku.com and this should pop up. So here, as you can see, these are the languages which are currently supported by Heroku. So that is Node.js, Ruby, Java, PHP, Python, Go, Scala and Clojure. So these are the only languages that you can use inside Heroku. So for this video, we're going to see how to deploy a PHP based website onto Heroku. So the best thing about Heroku is the fact that you don't need to deploy your code onto Heroku itself. You can just use a Git repository that has already been created beforehand. Okay. So for this video, I'm going to use the Corona Tracker project that we had created in a previous video. So this is a PHP based project. So because Heroku will be linked to this GitHub repository, what happens is that once this is deployed and once it is live, so if you make any changes to this Git repository, automatically the website will be updated. Okay. So your code is essentially placed in this Git repository and that is being hosted by Heroku. So first things first, you have to create an account. So if you don't have an account, sign up and then you can log in. But I already have an account, so I'm going to log into mine. So once you're logged in, this should pop up. So the first thing that you have to do is that you have to create a new app. So I'm going to click on the new button and click on create new app. Then you have to give a name for your app. So I'm going to give it as. Then you can select the region and I'm going to leave it as United States. Then click on create app. So there's actually two main ways that you can deploy your code. The first one is to use the Heroku command line interface and the second one is to link to your Git repository. So the first way is pretty simple. So you can just go to this link and download the command line interface. Then you can log in to your Heroku account. You just have to give your username and password and then you can go to your project and initialize the Git repository and set the remote to Heroku. Okay, so this is similar to all the git commands that you generally use inside your git command line interface. So you just have to give your Heroku as a remote there. Then you have to add all of those and commit the changes and then push it to Heroku. Once that is done, then everything will be set up and it will be published online and the website will be live. The second way is to link to the git repository and it's pretty easy. You'll have a button here. You have to click on that and that is going to open a dialog box where you can enter your username and password of your GitHub account and click on connect and that is going to link to your GitHub account. And once that is done, this should pop up and this is happening because I have already linked to my GitHub account previously. So once you're done linking, this should pop up. Then you can go to the repository or the account where you have all the repositories and then here you can click on search and that is going to show all the repositories that are present inside your account. So if there's any error and if it's not connecting to your GitHub account properly, what you can do is that you can open this URL in another browser. Sometimes Chrome doesn't allow you to link to GitHub. I don't know why that's happening, but it has happened to me as well. You just have to open this dashboard in other browser like Firefox or some other browser. And then you can click on the button which is present here and that should link to the GitHub correctly. So once that is done, you can click on search and it's going to show all the available repositories. So I'm going to go to my Corona Tracker project and let's just, yeah, I'm going to click on connect. So it's going to automatically connect to my GitHub repository and it's showing me that there's two options here. The first one is to enable automatic deploys. So what this means is that if you click on enable, what happens is that as soon as you make any changes to the GitHub repository, automatically the website will be updated. 
otherwise you have to manually do it so if you enable this Heroku will do it automatically for you so right now automatic deploys from the master branch are enabled okay and the next thing that you have to do is that you have to select the branch on which the data is present and I'm going to click on deploy branch and that is going to take the data and start the deployment automatically all right so it's showing me that the deploy has been successfully done so now if you click on view that should open up your project all right nice so the project is being shown okay so this is the url for your project and you can get this url from your settings section so you can go there and if you scroll down here you have the url so if you want you can connect to another domain as well your own custom domain you just have to configure the dns so you can click on add domain and do that and once that is done everything will be set up so you can enable the maintenance mode if there's any changes that you want to do and you don't want the users to see so you can enable the maintenance mode so that is pretty handy to have and this is the url for your heroku git so you can use this to interact inside the Heroku command line interface okay so one other thing is that let's say you want to add the database as well you can do that by going to the resources section and you can click on add-ons so you can click on find more add-ons so this is the store where you can select the add-ons that you want to include so if you have created your project using Postgres then it's pretty easy to do it since Postgres is natively supported by Heroku so you can click on this and then you can click on install Heroku Postgres. So the main benefit of using Postgres over MySQL for Heroku is the fact that since Heroku supports Postgres natively, you don't have to give your credit card information to use the free tier. Okay. And for the free version for the Postgres, these are the things that you're going to get. So you can click on install, then you can select the tier. I'm on the free tier. Then you can give the project name or the app name and mine is Corona Tracker packet code and I'm gonna select that and then you can click on provision add-on so now if you go to the settings and click on view credentials it's gonna give you the host name the database name username port and password and it's also gonna provide you the Postgres URL that you can use to access this so you can use any of the visual interface that you have and then you can link to this and update and push data onto the database all right so this is how you link a Postgres database. But let's say you have MySQL database. Then for MySQL, you have another add-on. So there's actually many add-ons. So you can go for Redis Cloud as well, or MLab or JAWS DB Mario database or MySQL by JAWS DB. But the most popular option when it comes to MySQL is this ClearDB MySQL. But the main problem with the MySQL database is the fact that since Heroku does not support MySQL natively, you'll have to give your credit card information even if you're using the free tier okay so it's similar you just have to click on install but the thing is that it's not going to allow you to link to this because you haven't provided your credit card information so once you're done linking your credit card information you'll be able to access the free tier but if you've already created a project on mysql there are many websites online which convert mysql to postgres you can do that or you can just give your credit card information here and you can use it and don't worry if you are just using this to test your website then it doesn't matter even if you give your credit confirmation since it's not going to go above the free tier so there's not going to be any cut in your money from your account so that's how you deploy your website onto Heroku and right now as you can see my website is live so this is the website so if you want to know how to create this COVID-19 tracker, so the link for that video will be available in the description down below. You can go there and check that out. And one thing that you have to keep in mind is that since Heroku doesn't support HTML, you cannot deploy your static websites like websites which have the index page as .html. You have to make sure that the website is created using PHP. So don't worry, even if you're just typing HTML, what you can do is that you can just name your file as index.php and inside that file you can type your html code you don't have to necessarily use php inside of it okay you can just give the file name as whatever it is .php okay and then deploy it onto heroku and that's gonna work since it is just a testing website it's not gonna go beyond the range of the free tier so you can just use it without any worry so that's it for this video guys, I hope you like what I've seen till now, if you did then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.